Good morning. This is Reverend Pam Gagan from the Center for Spiritual Living Pleasant Valley in Camarillo, California. And it is a joy to be with you this morning as we go into, uh, it's the extension of the four agreements and it's the fifth agreements that Don Ru uh, Ruiz Miguel wrote with his uh, son, Jose. So uh, this is a, uh, a time to come together and we're gonna relax in. And we're just gonna relax in here to begin with. And as I remind you what the four agreements are, and the four agreements are, be impeccable with your word, don't take anything personally, don't, take, uh, don't make assumptions, and always do your best. And in that moment, when we are using all of those four agreements, uh, coupled with or uh, including and woven into this one, which he calls the power of doubt, and I call question anything and everything. So today you're going to question your truths as you leave here. What is true for you and what is true for everyone around you? So as you do that, uh, let us first just relax and closing the eyes. And I always say if you want to, take your energy wands, your fingers, and just see that light surrounding you wherever you're at. And just see that energy coming right down from the crown chakra all the way down to the middle of the forehead to the third eye chakra, the pineal gland, relaxing, as I say, the bacon brow, just relaxing the eyes and the lids and the forehead, going down into the jaws, just relaxing the jaws. And then having that energy go right down, 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 down through the throat and around the back of the whole head. Just feeling that wonderful. And I see this, this wonderful pillar of light coming in from, from all of the eons, from all of the dimensions of the world coming right down, all of the wisdom, all the love, all the great energy that has always been here and will always be here directed because we're using our energy wands and our thoughts to direct the highest and best for us and all around us in this moment of meditation. See it coming right down, 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 down into the back of the neck, relaxing the vertebrae, one by one by one, coming back and around and relaxing the throat and the heart chakra, the beautiful lotus I always see in the heart, that emerald green heart whatever deity or word that makes you feel closest to the thing itself, the great beyond within, without, all around, surrounding us in and through and as us. Ernest Holmes called it even the thing itself. I call it God, but it can look like whatever you want it to look like that makes you feel connected to the one, the one, the one, expressing perfectly, beautifully, your fingerprint of what I call God in and through and as you. And so now you can have a guide there, an angel there, whatever, whatever it makes you feel comfortable, protected, surrounded with love, immersed in love, immersed in wisdom. Because the sages throughout the ages knew that the one fine line, the one connecting fabric of this universe was that, that thread of love that connects all philosophies at the highest and best and all religions, all faiths. All indigenous people, it is from the heart and the mind and the body all working together. But it is the passion of the heart that leads us along with the wisdom of the mind, love and law, as Ernest Holmes says, to that highest place of revealing who we are on this planet. And when we are at our best, then the world around us is at its, is at its best too because we make the world a brighter place our light. So that comes down more down the spine, down to the solar plexus, the beautiful yellow solar plexus, down into the sacral chakra, beneath the belly button, going all the way down the spine, relaxing the shoulders, just relaxing in the shoulders, and then all the way down to the sit bone, and going absolutely all the way around, around the hips, 
the thighs, the, the knees, the calves. Going down, down, down the ankles, the feet. And then that energy going right out the feet and the hands and the fingers, just surrounded and enlivened by this wonderful energetic presence that I call love, light, the thing itself, the only thing there is. And as I direct that energy that is so powerful, my words, because I am impeccable with my word, follow higher thoughts, and I form those higher thoughts into words, and then I don't take anything outside of me personally. I question everything that comes into me to see if it is the highest and best for me and everyone in my life and the planet. And then I don't make assumptions. I speak, not only do I ask questions clearly, but I am with clarity. When there is an assumption that I make, I clarify it with the person I've already made an assumption that is that I'm not taking anything personally about and I'm going from there to see what there or whatever it is that I am assuming I am clearly asking questions clearly taking all of that information into the highest place that does uh, that that forms that power of doubt and asks more questions for the clarity of my being my soul and its involvement and involvement in this life on this planet of the highest and best going back home to the source my mind my heart my soul and so then I from there I come down here and I do my personal best I take all information all the fabric of the universe that relies in that lies within me in my reflection of the one knowing that my reflection can be like no one else's reflection my fingerprint is different than anybody else's fingerprint in this thing called life. And I ask deep, deep questions. And so in this meditation, now we're going to take that energy, see it go all the way down, down, down to the middle earth because it's important to ground us because we're here for that, that third dimensional experience, the physicality, the emotions of this planet it's one of the fastest ways is to be in touch with who you are uniquely who you are and embrace all of the good that you are and erase anything that holds you back the fears building the faith in the oneness and the goodness and the openness and the vulnerability and the courage it takes to open up to that greatness that lies within you and we take that energy it goes right down to the middle earth it wraps around whatever you wanted to wrap around to anchor in this moment so we're anchoring actually heaven and earth together in the mind the body the spirit the soul and that energy coming right back up connecting us all around us in and through and as us to the top top upper upper all the all the dimensions all the eons because my the soul is and as I say me I am in this please personalize these words knowing that there is only the one the one the one expressing perfectly so I am the soul the passion of my soul expressing in this wonderful thing called life on this planet in this time may embrace all the good that there is And yet I am skeptical as I learn to listen and I realize that as Don Miguel Ruiz says, people speak in symbols. And so as I look at their symbols and hear their words, any questions that I have, I ask. I ask for clarity. Because any of those symbols of those words or thoughts or ideas 
are only the truth because I agree with their symbols. Then the most important thing of anything is I learn to listen. Because when I learn to listen and I li listen, I understand the meaning of the words that create the symbols of someone else's story and the communication between people that I don't understand improves a lot. It is so much greater than what people are speaking in that moment. Being skeptical is masterful because it uses the power of doubt to discern the truth. And we are like the artist, painting the world with our words and our pictures. So when you ever hear a message from yourself or another creative artist, simply go within, connect within, and ask, is it truth or is it not the truth? Is it the highest and best for me and all? Or just the highest and best for someone else that is separating? And I believe I am in faith. And my faith is belief without a doubt. And yet to be doubt is to be step, skeptical. So I look and I see and I feel and I embrace the stories of others. But when the knowledge is not ring true with me, then I go back to the truth of my being. And the truth survives whether you believe it or not. You believe lies, they won't survive. Eventually they will fade away and they will simply disappear in your life and all life around you. So skepticism is a good thing. I am not believing everything I hear and especially how it hits me in my soul. And I'm aware that in that pureness, that truth of being of who I am, there is distortion of the truth. Because every artist distorts the truth. And so we go within our soul that connects with the thing itself to have the truth revealed in and through and as us. And yet the most powerful thing and part of all of this is we don't judge. We have respect. I have respect. And I listen to the way other people express themselves as I put their version of who they are in that story distorted by their beliefs. Because I know it, I feel it in my heart, my soul, my bones. I just know that when words come from truth, they resonate with that soul that is incorruptible within me. And I honor all the artists. Everything on life, in life, is a, a, is a creative source. And I honor that source. And I see that whatever the truth is for life is true for the, the situation, the people expressing their story, but it doesn't necessarily ring true with me.
So beyond the emotion, when someone, some words get your attention, no matter in what realm, know as you listen, that's their point of view, just as you share your point of view. And when we come together in that field of cooperation, listening and understanding our stories and other people's stories, and they understand you, you can create the most beautiful story ever on this planet. So just take a moment now and just think about how you feel inside your body when something is true. Just take it all in. And know that you feel that peace, that joy, that love that lies within you. Just breathing it all in, breathing it all in, using that as we breathe in, connecting with all of the truth within, breathing in with, on the in-breath, God is, and on the out-breath, I am, as all of the information and all of the wisdom that lies within you reveals itself in and through and as you. So, as we begin our day, in this moment, as 
we leave here today, I end with those four assumptions, those four assumptions, those four agreements, and now the fifth one. I am impeccable with my word. I don't take anything personally. I am not making assumptions. And I do my personal best today and all days. And as that truth, those truths ring true to me in and through and as me weaving together. I look and I question everything and when the truth resonates and sets me free within me, I call it faith then. It is the groundwork, the foundation from which cannot be shaken because it is one with the divine source, the divine presence that is connecting to and with me and through me and as me. And I just give great, 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 great thanks as I let this go, and I come back into the room, back into the chair, hear the room noise, hear everything around me, and I call today good and very good. And I just say thank you so much for being with me this morning. I'll see you tomorrow with more, uh, with more doubt everything, the power of doubt, question everything, and namaste. Peace out, and I love each and every one of you. God is the presence and the power and the energy and the wonderfulness that is in and through each and every one of us. Mwah! Have a bliss, blessed day. See you tomorrow.